Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the latest beta release of OBS Studio 31.0, the powerful open source software that's a go-to for live streaming and video recording on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. There are some awesome new features and improvements coming your way, especially if you're using NVIDIA hardware. So let's dive in and see what OBS Studio 31.0 has to offer. OBS Studio 31.0 just entered public beta testing, and there's a lot to be excited about. One of the biggest highlights is the NVIDIA Blur Filter and Background Blur features. This is a game changer for content creators who want to enhance their video quality without needing a green screen. Whether you're streaming or recording, these blur effects help you isolate yourself from the background seamlessly. Plus, we're getting a refactored NVENC implementation. NVIDIA users, this is huge for you. This update brings split encoding and a new target quality VBR mode, CQVBR. There's also a custom options field now, giving you more flexibility by letting you set encoding options that don't need dedicated UI elements. And to top it off, B frames as reference will now be supported. That means better video quality for those of you pushing the limits of your streams. Another exciting addition is support for YouTube chat integration. If you're streaming on YouTube, you'll be able to manage chat interactions directly from OBS, which will simplify the whole process. They've also added Amazon IVS integration and support for QSVAV one screen content coding, expanding your options for live streaming platforms and formats. For Linux users, OBS Studio 31.0 includes some great enhancements. The screensaver inhibition works better when installed as a flat pack, and the QSV encoder has been improved. Also, they've changed display and window capture sources so they won't capture implicitly anymore. And for those using Wayland, the built-in automatic scene switcher has been disabled to avoid conflicts. There are also some changes you'll want to keep in mind. OBS 31.0 will automatically split the NVIDIA audio effects from noise suppression, and there's a new warning message when trying to capture WinUI 3 applications using BitBelt. Mac OS users, you'll see improved error messages when using the virtual camera. And there's been some cleanup as OBS has removed support for NVIDIA Kepler GPUs in the NVENC implementation. And heads up gamers, OBS is updating its code signing certificate, which could impact compatibility with anti-cheat systems for some games. So keep an eye on that if you use OBS for game streaming. So there you have it. Some of the most exciting features coming to OBS Studio 31.0. If you want to check it out for yourself, you can download the public beta from their GitHub page. Remember, it's still in testing, so don't use it in production just yet. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more updates on OBS and all things tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.